going on over z here and welcome back to some more slime rancher dude so today uh today we're doing something different today we're doing something just for fun just for the laughs because why not right why not i was thinking when someone was like man this area looks good right this is a fun little area and the only thing i have in here i have fire slimes in here which they're fine they're completely okay they're they're nice and happy you know doing their little fire slime thing living their living their fire slime life wow they we're really, really hungry. Um, but I was thinking, I was like, you know what? We've got a pen of fire slimes, right? And I don't think we're gonna really use that much fire slimage. So what could we do with this area instead? Could we dedicate the entire area to something else? Something different. And while I was walking around, while I was thinking, I was like, what could we do? What could we do here? It came upon me. It dawned upon me much like this chicken i think we could have an area completely full of hens because what does the world need more than slimes well it could use a few more hen hens so today we are going to fill this area with hen hens and i don't mean just like a few hen hens i mean like all of the hen hens so we're going to go through and um i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to take down these i'm going to turn these all into um and we turn these all into pens for now and then we're <laughs> We're gonna start throwing chickens out everywhere and just having a, a hen hen good time So hopefully you guys enjoy if you do like subscribe all of them things now um, I don't think unfortunately I can store my fire slimes. I Don't think I can store them. They, they won't go into the, the storage thing here hen hens however will so um, That's actually gonna be super handy for us, but these guys unfortunately. Yeah They're not gonna make it in there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw the slime actually you know what we're just gonna go ahead and throw these right into the research chamber um we're gonna securely dispose of the uh the fire slimes and we're gonna start our hen we need a name with it like it's like the celebration hens oh my gosh it's the celebration hens for slime rancher 2 uh, i love it ogden tell me you have a gift for me do you have a gift for me oh a tall emerald cypress oh that's so nice of you <gasps> thora what do you have for me a pink mangrove and bob actually this is the second time we've ever talked to bob bob what do you have um uh, old friend b bobo <laughs> uh no have for you chickens haha <laughs> no Coastal rock. Oh, nice. Okay. So, um, yeah, let me go ahead. Let me get some things organized. And then we're going to start our celebration hen celebration celebration hen extravaganza celebration hen extravaganza. I don't know. We're going to start the celebration hens. <laughs> so, you know what? Actually, hold on. While while we're down here. Oh, look at that. My inventory has magically disappeared. I because well, I already did the things. Um, let's look at our decorations. Is there anything that we could that we could put in this chicken area that would make it extra festive? Um, does anything scream celebration hens? Not not really. Not really. We don't have any like there's no lights. There's no uh, there's no like party thing. Is there a gadget? Oh my gosh. We could have we need these. I can, I can fabricate one or two. Absolutely. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay, we needed those. That that right there is the trick. That is the um the piece de resistance. Okay. Let's uh let's get our area <laughs> let's get this area prepared for the celebrations. <laughs> so I'm leaving the storage unit there, obviously. Like for obvious reasons, the storage unit is staying there. Um, but we are going to uh we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna maximize everything. Because I need maximized everything. Um, I'm hoping that I have enough to pay for all of it. Actually, you know what? Let's let's start with these two on the sides. And then maybe, if anything, they can just like roam free in the middles. Okay, so the area looks pretty good for now. We're gonna leave these two pens open. Um, I know that's not gonna maximize our hens right now, but uh, we might actually be able to afford it. We might actually be able to afford it. Okay, so maybe we'll maybe we'll just go broke. We'll go broke for the celebration. Hen. Um, okay, and then I need to feed. I have a whole bunch of carrots that I want to feed to these guys, just to keep them all happy and tamed. Actually, can we go ahead and let's turn this to maximum speed? Throw these in here. 
Oh, hens, you have no idea what's in store for you, do you? No, you don't, but you're gonna love it. It's gonna be a really good time. Oh, you know what? We need a pen for each hen. We need a pen for each hen. We've got to have a pen for each hen. Okay, so two roostros, and then we'll go ahead and throw one, two, three of those in here. We have to have a pen for each hen. We cannot not have that. So one, two, and then we'll do briar hens in there. And then we've got to have regular hens and stony hens. We've got to do it. Like it's it's not even an option at this point. Um, if we're having a true celebration hen, it's got to happen. All right. Oh, wow. That last upgrade is like, is super expensive. <laughs> um, okay. And then regular hens. And then this one here is going to be, uh, this is going to be our happy stony hens, I think. Oh yeah. Okay. We're about broke now. So one, two, we'll go and throw all three in there and three stony hens and we're good. So the rest of these hens, they're going to be free. Free range hens. Now, I don't know what happens if hens, I don't know if they despawn over time. I have no idea. So we're going to run with this for now. <laughs> and we're going to see how it goes. Okay, so we have a pen for each hen. <laughs> Just like, I feel like Dr. Seuss. <gasps> there was a pen for each hen. <laughs> a hen to be had. <gasps> oh, there were hens there. There were hens there. There were hens everywhere. Okay, um, let's see. It's called the hen hen by dr z all right uh let's see let's go ahead and get these carrots moved out of here we've got hens already on the loose <laughs> i can't even help it we've already got hens on the loose but not one amongst them is a goose <laughs> i just can't oh man all right Okay, so what we're gonna do is um, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm just gonna do a little bit of like uh, behind the scenes work, you know, the, a little bit of BTS behind the scenes on the slime rancher. Feed the slimes, get the get the ports, things like that. Skip a, skip a day, check on the hens, and kind of so forth and so on. Because like really, the only thing we're gonna do for for hen uh, population increasing is is just wait. So I know it's not super exciting, but um, so I'm probably gonna go ahead feed these, feed everybody, get some slimes, uh, get some ports done, and then skip a day. We'll come back. We'll check out the hens and kind of go from there. All right, it is day two of the celebration. It is underway, and let's go see how uh, let's go th see how things are looking over here. We also need to decorate for it. I forgot we didn't decorate for it. Um, so I'm also checking to see if the hen hens are staying here, or if they're despawning. I would say that they're staying for the most part. Uh, yeah, yeah, I would say they're staying for the most part. Feels good. Everybody's having a good time. And let's go ahead and let's uh, let's do this. Let's get a celebration hen put up here. And I feel like we need another one probably like right here. Uh, I mean, like what better way to signify the celebration hens than having celebration hens. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. Okay. So we actually have a bunch of hens in here too. So the only thing to do is to let them free. I mean, like that's what we're doing. We're celebrating the freeing of the hens and the, the, the rule of the hens, allowing the hens to be themselves and be henny. I'm gonna do my I'm gonna do what I can to kinda like spread these guys out a little bit here. I love how we just it's just like bowling. We're just like bowling with hens here. It's just like rolling. Oh. Oh my gosh. Welcome to the celebration. <laughs> Smacking into yourself. It's a fantastic time. Okay, so looking good. Um still nothing crazy though. Like, I mean I mean, there's a lot of hens here, okay? Like, there's a lot, but this is nothing. Like, it's just like, meh. <gasps> Are they breeding outside of the coops? No way. They absolutely are. Oh, this could make things go silly. This could make things silly. The only thing I'm a little bit worried about is this part right here. See, like, like we've already got guys escaping. Like, I kind of wish, oh. I shouldn't have bought that part down there or like I wish I could like I wish there was like a little bit of base building I could build a wall here all right well that's fine okay so day two of the celebration is going very well I must say cannot complain um and I'm gonna go ahead and make a little bit more money today or I'm gonna just sell some more plorts or something I don't know 
so you know as i'm moving these things around i i realized that i should have kept my fire slimes i should have just put them down with the puddle slimes or i should have put them down with my um the ringtail and the honey slimes like down uh down that way i i, I don't know why i didn't keep them i should have just kept them but i didn't so you know can't dwell on that too long all right day three of the celebrations and uh, we're gonna go check on them in just a minute so what i've actually been doing i stopped selling stuff uh, because I just was like, you know what? We're going to need it in here anyway. So I've just kind of been throwing plorts in here. As you see, we're getting more, a lot more of some than others. Honey, we're getting a lot of honey plorts. That is for sure. Um, I actually have a lot of flutter ports and stuff like that too. But I've just been throwing them in here because I, I know we're going to need them. Um, oh, that's Slimepedia. Okay. Interesting. So yeah, I know we're going to need them. So I was just throwing them in there. We don't really need the money right now anyways. And they're just going to keep producing ports. So, but let's go check on our celebrations. Let's see if the hens are still having a good time. And if we need to take any out of the pens, so we, they can keep having their, uh, their little, oh, they're having a good time. That's for sure. All right. So let's go ahead and let's get some of you out of here. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my gosh. Actually, you know what? All the chickadoos. Good God, there's so many chickadoos. Wait, what is what is the upgrades do? do? Should I leave the chickadoos in here? Or should I throw the chickadoos out? Like, I feel like I can throw the chickadoos out because I feel like they'll still, they'll grow out here just fine, you know? They'll take up less space. Also, these, we don't need so many of those. Uh, you know what? Actually, they're probably fine, huh? Oh my gosh. Let's just focus on getting some of the bigger ones out. Because as soon as the other ones grow up, they're going to be... Oh my gosh. Guys, there's, there, we're going to have a serious chicken problem here. I love it. Oh man. I, you know what? I really just want to skip through the days and come back and let chickens out. Oh, this is going to be such a good time. Um, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start doing it. I'm just going to start skipping. I think we're going to do two days. I'll skip a day. Well, you know what? Shoot. I don't know if they grow... Okay, you know what? Actually, let's go ahead and skip a day right now. Just to do some testing here. Do they actually uh, grow over like the course of the time? Or do I need to actively be playing and it takes like actual, you know, real life minutes? Um, let's go check the pens. Because they were full of chickadoos. Right? Oh, oh no, they definitely grew up. Yeah, they definitely grew up. Holy moly. All right, um, yeah, let's get some of these out of here. You gotta come with me. I'm getting a little crowded. You know, this is gonna kill the game, isn't it? This is gonna kill the refresh rate. This is this is gonna kill the game. It's gonna become. It is slowly going to become unplayable. So I mean, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Maybe, maybe eventually. I I don't know. I killed Slime Rancher too, but. I, Making too many chickens. <laughs> because that might be a thing. Where's our seagulls? Our, our sea hens? Oh, they're in here. Interesting. I mean, we're we're working. They were doing. We're they're making hens. I don't know how a briar hen got in there. Okay, I'm hoping that they're not despawning. I mean, they're gonna start turning into elder hens eventually. But I think we're good. Um, actually, so this is another thing. The roostros, I don't know if the roostros will will like do they mingle on the outside, you know? Like do they do they mingle? You know what I'm saying? I don't know if they mingle on the outside. I think maybe they have to be in uh in these to to make oh gosh. That was that was like a ski ball. Okay, yeah, let's make sure that the, the roostros stay inside the pens. Oh, like this one doesn't have hardly any roostros in it. Did I suck them up and throw them out? I might have done that. That might have been my fault. Okay, everything else looks good. <laughs> All right, let's go see. We had a message. Let's go check our message. Um, Celebration hens is working. I would like to not be able to see the ground. That's kind of my goal. All right, let's see who's got a message for us now. It's Moki. Hell, I got a little something for you. Uh, root arches. Very exciting. Anybody else? Nothing else. Okay. Uh, and the reason I said I was going to skip two days is that way I could come through and uh, add food 
to these guys because I don't want them to become uh, restless and angry and uh, feral, essentially. <laughs> I don't want them to like become feral and take over the place. So uh, we'll skip two days at a time and then I'll make sure I go through and add food to all of the feeders. And it should be fine. Also, just as an added thing, I don't think they're actually going to become like feral and like break out and leave, you know, but I'm just saying like it, it, just keeping them, keeping them happy. Okay. That's what I, it's. Don't take it literally. All right, this is gonna be day eight of the celebration hens. <laughs> Let's go check out what's going on. Um, I went over there the last two days and I just kind of basically moved chickens out of the pens, out of into the uh, into the natural area. Uh, we are definitely starting to get laggy as we move our way over here. And uh, as you see, things are progressing, I would say rather nicely. Um, <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out the like the magic number of like how many hens I can have in here before like it becomes an issue and they like stop producing but it doesn't seem uh seems like i just take a few out every day and it seems to seems to be working okay this pen in here i don't know what the deal is but this one just does not seem like it's producing very fast unless it's producing out here which it could be and they're just like you know free roaming immediately um i don't know so but i have been trying to go through in here and just like leaving a few like that and then anytime i see um roostros on the outside i'll just go ahead and throw them into the pens as well because the more roostros we have like this pen looks like it'd be pretty this one right here just seems to be doing the best one two three four five six seven eight we have eight roostros in there and we only have four in there okay so that might be why let's get another one in there whoa oh my gosh a chicken just got sucked up all by itself are you gonna do it? Are you gonna do it? Maybe it had to hit something like this one. It almost got hit. It almost got sucked up. That's so funny. Uh, okay, sorry. Uh, back to the celebrations. Uh, let's go ahead and throw these two in here and grab you and throw you in there as well. Okay, so I think that's like eight in there. And then how many do we have in here? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh gosh, there's like 10 in here. Okay, let's take two of these out. And then let's just let them free roam. Okay. Um, the ground is slowly becoming chicken infested and I like it. Uh, we do have a lot of chicken dudes out running around. I think maybe they are reproducing out here. I have no idea. Anyways, I'm hoping the more chickens we get, the more chickens we get, you know? <laughs> the more chickens we get, the more chickens can lay eggs. And I, like that's the most ideal thing that can happen here. Um, and I also gave up on my slimes, so <laughs> my slimes are now becoming, uh, I feel bad for them. Let's just put it that way. They, they're not getting fed anymore because I just want to sleep until mornings and check on my chickens repeatedly. Okay, so this is what I think is going on. You ready for this? I think what's going on is that this pen is producing the most because there's the least amount of chickens around it. I think that's what's going on. So I think if we want to be producing more, actually... If we want to produce more chickens, you know what we need to do. We got to clean this up a little bit. Um, hold on. You know what we got to do. You know, this is one of the most satisfying things like ever. I don't even know what it is. It's like popping bubble wrap because you're just going into an area and collecting everything you can. Like right now, we're just collecting all the chickens we can, and I'll show you why here in a second. Okay, so I've got a majority of the hens cleaned up. So as you can see, not as many hens running around here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a couple of these though, and um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna. I I wanted to make sure these pens stayed clear because I think that's what was helping with the respawn and like um, um in getting hens. So. Um, now you may be asking, it's like, well, where are the hens at? You know, we, we could have just thrown them into storage or what have you, but, um, no, we didn't do that because why do that when, when the hens are happy and they like being next to each other. So we just threw them in a pen together. <laughs> there is so many hens in here. It is so good. So now this is just a temporary living situation until we get the maximum number of hens achieved <laughs> Then we can release them and I'm very much looking forward to deleting the pen So they all flood out and go everywhere um, But <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and let the hens do that It literally took me the whole in-game day to uh, to get these hens cleaned up and um, 
Like, I feel like there's too many in here. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, there's like way too many in here. Okay, so yeah, there's uh, this is the the hen storage capacity, the celebration hen um, lodging, if you will. They all signed up for it. This was completely uh, on their own. There was no forcage of any kind. So we're gonna go ahead and sleep for the night, and hopefully, I really hope these guys don't despawn. Really hope they don't despawn. Oh snap! We have a small issue. Um, these guys got out. How you didn't turn into, uh, how you guys didn't turn into, uh, Tars? I am very surprised, actually. You know what? It's because they're hungry. I gotta, I gotta feed them. This is what happens when I let them get hungry. Hey, yo, we got a Violet Teleporter. Uh, let's check messages for the day. Violet Teleporter. That's super nice. Uh, let's see if anybody else gives us anything else. Um, Violet Swirl Shroom. Awesome, awesome. I need something for the chicken celebration hen, you know? Like, that's what we really need. Uh, care package, short palm, very nice. And Bob, what do you got, Bob? Thin cave pillar, ah, oh, very nice, very nice indeed. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and sleep. These guys need fed too, because they're getting really rowdy. Stop being rowdy, calm down, thank you, thank you. And we're gonna sleep, we'll come back, we'll see how our, our hen production is. Now that we have them away from the pens. You know, it'd be great is if the hens inside the uh, corral could also like, you know, repopulate and we could come back and the corral could be fuller. Oh, the corral does actually appear to be fuller. Um, did that actually work? And okay, there's a lot of hens in here. That looks good. Oh, yes, there's a lot of hens in here, too. And how about this? Yes! Okay, it totally works. So that was the issue. We had too much hens. We had way too many hens uh, near the pen. And that's what caused our uh, reduction in, in duplication, if you will. So we'll take these guys out and, and we'll throw them in here. Oh, I think they, I think they did get bigger. Or they, or you know what? I did throw up. I did throw some chickadees in there, so they might have just grown up. Okay, it's starting to get hard to get hens into this pen. <laughs> um, it's kind of full. I'm kind of having like to lob them in there. I might actually have to go from the top up there. <laughs> I'm about to start going from up there and shooting them down into it. It's it's getting so full. Okay, I think this is gonna be the final day of the celebration hens, and that means that we need to release our poor hens. Oh my gosh, it worked though! Like this absolutely worked. So keep keep your hens in a corral, um, and then they'll produce even more in the in the pens. It's fantastic, actually. It's it's actually quite great. So I think I feel like we definitely need to um, we need to delete the corral. And let the hens go free. What do you think? I think it needs to happen. Can I go in here? Oh no. No, there's 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 no going in there. Wait, what happens if I jump in from the top? Oh my gosh, should we try this? Uh I don't know though. Um, it is definitely super framey over here for sure. So uh I would I would not recommend doing this. Alright, here we go. And we're on the top of the hen pile. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna do something very bad. We're gonna delete this. Are you ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, and free the hens! <laughs> There's so many hens here. Okay, should we should we help them? Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, hold on. Guys, oh it's not even working. It doesn't it doesn't even work. Does it work regularly? No, it actually doesn't even work regularly. Guys, you got it, bro. You got to spread out, man. Hold on. Let's go up to the top. Oh, we can watch the shenanigans unfold. Oh, my gosh. It's like they knew exactly what this rock was for. Oh, there's so many chickens in there. There's so many hens. It is such a good time. I, You know what? I'm so glad that we did this. This was so much fun. Now, we could do this on a grander scale for sure. But just, you know, just a little bit of fun, sitting here for a little bit, giving a little bit of time, doing the thing. I think this turned out pretty good. I like it.
I like it. We leave a comment. Let me know. What do you think about the celebration? Are you going to have a celebration hen of your own? If you do, make sure you uh, make sure you hit me up on, on Twitter or Discord or something. I'd love to see your celebrations. Um, <laughs> so this is so funny. Now, the other part of this, the other thing we could do here is if we went and got all those pink slimes and released them, how fast do you think they would eat through these pink slimes? Like how quick or how quickly do you think they would eat? Um, Actually, imagine the plortage. Imagine how many plorts we would have from this. Um, I'm not even going to guesstimate how many hens are here. I have absolutely no idea. And in order, you know what? Let's do this. Let's help them out here. Let's let's try to spread them out a little bit. All right, I tried to spread them out as good as I could. Um, we definitely have a lot of hens. <laughs> There's a lot of hens here to be had. But that is going to end it. Thank you so much for coming out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. If you want to see the hen snackage, the hen transformation, um, I don't know. They're going to get turned into plorts eventually. So uh, if you want to see that, make sure you uh, subscribe and stay tuned for the next episode because that's going to happen. We're going to see how quickly, I don't know, maybe we should see how fast a hundred slimes could go through a thousand hens. <laughs> I got to say there's probably a thousand here. Yeah, I would say there's probably a thousand. There might be more. So uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.